Hi everyone, Petal is blessed here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm coming on today to share with you two more nice DIY ideas that you could make for your home or as a gift for a loved one. Hey everyone, today's video is sponsored by HTV Rond. They sent me over their new auto heat press to do a review on so i'm gonna have a look at it and show you and tell you my thoughts on it and for this auto heat press htv ron is having a kickstarter program that you can go on and get it right now for a cheaper price until august the 20th and i will leave the link below for that so you can go over and check it out all right everyone here's the heat press i already took it out of the box as you can see and the heat press the size is a 15 by 15 and it's not too heavy it seems maybe it's around 30, 30 pounds or something like that. Yeah, but it's not too heavy. I was able to maneuver it. <laughs> so this is how it looks here. And I'm going to show you what else I got in the box with it. Okay, I got this box of heat transfer um, vinyl rolls. And there was 12, 12 different colors. And this is how they look here. And I think they're five feet each roll. So I get a lot of vinyl. It's very nice. And I also got this light green weeder. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and I also got this pack of vinyl. And this one is 10 by 12. And in the pack, here it is. There's a sheet with some instructions. And another weeder, I think. A silver one. Yeah, like I was saying, it has some instructions in there. And I got a Teflon sheet with it. And a lot more other colors with the iron-on vinyls okay here is the machine <laughs> um, there's the power button so I'm gonna press that to turn it on this button here is to set the temperature that you want it to press at this is the timer for how much seconds and then we have the up and the down <laughs> plus and minus and the R flashes when before it reaches the temperature it flashes red first button is for settings that they already have the second one you can customize your own settings and the A right here is for auto and all you have to do is pull out the tray and the tray is 15 by 15 I love it it's so easy you pull it out you push it back in <laughs> that's all you have to do <laughs> so okay it's almost at the temperature now see the red the R went from red to green that means the temperature is ready to go so when you have your stuff in there, all you have to do is just press the R and it closes the machine. It presses for the time that you want it to. Okay, everyone, I'm just speeding up this clip with the time so it goes faster. And then it just lifts up. You don't have to do anything. All you have to do is just pull your stuff back out. <laughs> it's as easy as that. Isn't that neat? So now let's get started with today's DIY. Okay, I have this 12 by 16 canvas <laughs> that we are gonna do our DIY with today. <laughs> so I have my images that I cut from Cricut Design Space. So we are just gonna set up our machine uh -huh, and press them onto our canvas. Okay, so I'm pressing this one first. I think I need to turn it sideways so I'll make sure that it's in the center. Okay, there we go. Now your girl has got to get some heat tape. They have tape that you use for um, iron-ons. I need to get some. I really do. But I'll just do my best today. Hopefully it stays down. So we're just going to put it in. And the top of the machine is not hot. See where I'm touching? It's not hot, so that's okay. Okay. Here's our first layer. Oh. I think I'm going to press it one more time. I 
girl, I went with you like all day. Now I got a much different frame of mind. Switch it up. Okay, I think I need to do like what I do with this when I use a small heat press and I'm doing canvas. I put a little um, tablecloth in there so the canvas is level because the centerpiece is not pressing on anything. So it's making it kind of hard for the machine to really press on it really good. So now that I put the piece of tablecloth in there, I think it will be much better. And this machine um, gauges the pressure level for you. And it's really good for um, sublim sublimations, I think they call it. Yeah, it's good for that. Your girl doesn't know how to do that as yet. I am going to learn. So I think when the, when nothing was in there, it wasn't picking up the pressure level right. But now it is. <laughs> So there you go, I have to let it cool down before I peel it back. And here we go, it's all cool now. So now we're removing the plastic, the protective plastic. There we go, really nice. So now I'm gonna put the last piece, which is the glitter vinyl. So I'm just placing it, like I said, see how it's lifting up? I need the heat tape. I really do. Your girl has to go on Amazon and order some. <laughs> or I might get some from HTV Ron. I think when I was on their site, I saw they had heat tape too. Yeah, so I need to pick up some. So we're pushing it in now. All the way back. And then we're going to press the green button <laughs> to start our press time. There we go. See how it opens up and all you do is just pull out your project. Nice and easy. <laughs> so we have to let it cool a bit. All right, now it's time to remove our protective sheet. Doesn't that look nice? Okay, so now it's time to add a little bit more to our decor, to our canvas. I have this um, silver spike bling here. And I'll be using some E6000 and I cut a um, piece of it into strips and I'll be adding it to our vase decor. Okay, and now I have this bigger piece here that I'll be placing on the bottom part of our canvas. Okay, so now I'm gonna add one of my favorite gems from Totally Dazzled using some E6000 to our canvas. And here is the finished look. <laughs> I love how the canvas turned out. <laughs> With the help of our HTV Ron new auto heat press. <laughs> I think it turned out very nice. So leave me a comment down below and tell me what you think of today's DIY canvas decor. And on to DIY number two. These are the items that we're using. Okay, I have this vase here from the Dollar Tree. And I'll be using some painter's tape to, paint, to tape off our vase. And I'll be using some black paint and paint our vase. Now I'm just going to get to painting the vase and let it dry and I'll get back to you guys. Okay, 
Now the vase is all painted and dried. <laughs> that is how it looks out. I did a DIY with like this before and I love how it turned out so I decided to do another one. So we're going to be using some of the same spike bling like what I used on the canvas and I'll be using some E6000 to glue it down. So I cut it into strips and I just apply the E6000 and then we're just going to add it to our jar going all around. And here is the finished look of our jar. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. I love it with the spikes. OMG. <laughs> So leave me a comment down below and tell me what you think of our easy DIY jar <laughs> using items from the dollar store and more. And here are both of today's DIYs. <laughs> I call them twins. <laughs> They're matching set. They go together. They both have the spikes and the black and the silver. I think it looks, both of them look absolutely beautiful. <laughs> So I will, I'd like to thank HTV Ront once again for helping to sponsor today's video. I'll leave the link below to their Kickstarter program for you to go over and check it out. Right now until August 20th, it's $168. After that, the price will go up. So I think you should go now and get one for yourself. They are very nice and easy to use. <laughs> all right, everyone, that's all your girls got for you today. And please remember, as always, to stay blessed from Petal is Blessed. And I will catch you on the next one. Bye-bye, <laughs> everyone. <laughs>